And out of that massive explosion at Cape Canaveral, SpaceX rocket blew up on the launch pad. Major setback for private air travel. You see it right there. And for Facebook, ABC's David Curley is tracking the story from Washington. Good morning, David. Morning, George. This morning, Elon Musk has a problem. The question is, how big is that problem? How long will he keep his rockets grounded after this spectacular failure? The test looked normal. Then suddenly, the loaded SpaceX rocket explodes, sending shockwaves miles from Cape Canaveral. And watch this. That is the cargo set to be sent into space Saturday, falling in flames and exploding. It was this Israeli satellite that was to be launched, which Facebook planned to use for its first venture into space. In Africa, CEO Mark Zuckerberg expressed his disappointment in SpaceX's failure. The satellite was expected to offer internet connections to a large part of the African continent. This was the second big failure for SpaceX. A year ago, June, one of its Falcon 9 rockets blew up on takeoff with a NASA payload. While CEO Elon Musk has landed his reusable rocket on a drone ship, he now faces another serious setback. The private space company, which has visions of flying to Mars, was scheduled to take supplies to the space station in November. Former astronaut Mark Kelly serves on SpaceX's crew safety panel. It's the second setback for SpaceX. It's a difficult business to be in. You know, flying payloads into space at 25 times the speed of sound is a really hard thing to do. And no matter how hard we work at this, there, there are accidents and there are going to be accidents in the future. SpaceX already had a backlog of flights. This will only make it longer. And as I mentioned, it complicates the efforts to resupply the space station. NASA believes it can get supplies there, George, other ways over the coming months. Let's hope so.